Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Replay Sonic Adventure DX. Last time I went through, so uh, I was supposed to say Sonic, Knuckles' story, and now we're going to go through Amy's. So let's do this. And here we have, well, the stories being really short. Like, if, if Tails and Knuckles wasn't short enough, Amy, Big, and even Gamma, for, to that, for that matter, are, are all really, really short. But they're probably the more out there gameplay styles. Like they're probably the mo the more the gameplay styles that are definitely a lot more different than the main trio. Which I applaud them for trying, but most of it wasn't really for the wasn't really for the better, from in my opinion. But we'll get I'll get into that. The way Sonic's carrying Amy is really awkward in that. see Station Square and it looks so much bigger than what we actually see in game. Yeah, well I guess if it was like the whole Station Square, the hub world would be insane. And we don't want another Soliana. <laughs> Excuse me. Eggman, can it be? He did just like bump into you, so. What's this? Or she. Uh -oh. Is it ever like said what gender the bird is? Yay! Well, either way. But yeah, that robot is basically Amy's gimmick. That was one of Eggman's robots, huh? He must have captured you, and somehow you got away, right? Don't worry, I'll protect you. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way. All right. Now we can actually play as Amy, like. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm kind of conflicted with Amy's gameplay style. Like, I don't mind her, but it's definitely one of the weaker ones. And oh, cream! I don't. That camera angle is really weird because it doesn't really focus on cream. But okay, here's the mist. No, it all kid. Screw you. Uh, all right. Okay, I think we just yeah we just have to go to to the casino because Torgal Park is our first level, and that means we have to see Sonic. Yeah, uh, uh, Amy. 
It would be funny if you actually saw Sonic running around and like you just had to like follow him or something. But yeah, either way. And you just have to go to the Tonko Park area. Cause like it's one thing about uh well Amy and the other and big and gamma stories is that they're pretty heavy on cutscenes. Sonic just kind of stands there. <laughs> but yeah. Now I actually get to play a stage. So basically, Amy's gimmick, since she isn't really as fast as the main trio or anything like that. She's faster than Big, obviously, but yeah. But either way, though, uh, because she isn't like that fast, her gameplay is basically kind of stealth or uh, uh, oriented. Which, I, I don't mind that, but it isn't really the best uh, type of stealth that, that, uh, that, ge that the gaming in industry has shown us before. Like, it's definitely no Metal Gear or anything like that, I'll say that. But, it's, it's um, decent in, in its own right. Like, there are some puzzle elements here and there, but most of them aren't really that, like, substantial. Uh, I will say, though, the music here is just... Why? Like, why'd you have to make it so creepy? Like, if there would be a song that I would uh, say I dislike in this game, it would be this one because of how just unsettling it is. Which, I it's not a bad song, but I, I don't know, I just don't like... I just don't like the unsettling tone. <laughs> but, yeah. It's a cool... It has some interesting ideas with the whole mirror aspect and, like... I don't know, it, you have to like, kind of, you have to make sure you don't lose yourself or something like that, but it's not too hard to, uh, it's not too hard to like, understand like, how it works or like, or to be able to like, uh, get past it or anything like that. You just kind of look at, look at the mirror that, uh, you can follow Amy the easiest and just go from there, really. But here's what I mean by like, the... Yeah, the um... The, the, the stealth really isn't that good because I, I'm, I feel like half the time I go in the barrel, he just finds me anyway. And it's like, well that was kind of pointless. <laughs> And there we go, level over. But yeah, Amy's all right in this game, but it's definitely one of the weaker ones. But it's easily miles above big. I, I think that goes without saying, really. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, we're already out. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to bother doing Twinkle Circuit again, because it's basically the same thing. Like I said, it's just like, your your car thing has like a car, like a paint job. Because, like, yeah, every character has a different colour. But other than that, it's the same thing.
down. Because screw you, that's why. Well, you can just fit through those bars. You have feelings for something you know nothing about. Illogical. Yeah, you can. What the hell? Just jump and fit through. Just kind of like, yeah, you can easily go through those. Come on, Amy. Yes, Baz attack initiate. Go, escape. What? Don't question it, just go. Where the chow egg is, yeah. I think it's like a, I think it's a black chow. <laughs> awesome <laughs> oh man, you gotta love Eggman. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be two thousand points. <gasps> no, yeah, you just basically just hit the Sonics and Super Sonics. Don't want to hit the Eggmans. Because, yeah, you lose points, obviously. Okay, so, it was 2,000, I believe. So, I want to get just, like, 2,100 or something. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Because the reason for that is because later on when the air carrier crash or crashes and all that, uh, you can do this mini game again. And if you beat your high score, you get an upgrade to your hammer. So, yeah, to make it easier on me... I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna get a really bare bones score. Behold the warrior feather. I also like how Eggman doesn't ever scold Gamma for letting Amy free. Press hold the action button and move the directional pad in a circle. But yeah. Alright. Yeah, you can't get the hammer upgrade now, because that's the, the mistake I made one time. So, now we're actually going to go to a new level. And that, well, it, it, unless you count the uh, sand hill, whatever it was called, with tails. But, if if that's the, if that would be the case, then this is the, this is the first uh, actually new uh, action stage. 
um, for that we have that we that we have and we haven't seen a we haven't seen a unique action stage since since we finished Sonic. So I mean, I do I do like that. Like uh, with the the secondary trio of characters, you see at least one new level, which is uh, which is nice. I mean, yeah, the, I don't mind this stage for, for Amy too much because it is since it's uh, designed with the uh, the secondary characters in mind. Uh, it's more fun. To, it's overall more more fun to play. Like most of like Amy's gameplay elements play a play the largest role here because it's easily the longest level for Amy and it's more definitely the more pu a little bit puzzle heavy at points like you had yeah like you had to like move that little move that little will thingy like one way and then three times another way like it's not too com complex and even I think Takao even tells you what to do but yeah it's a little bit puzzle focused just get out of the way please And since it's, and because like Amy isn't that that fast, the er, most of the areas here are pretty uh, small and contained. Like it doesn't take long for you to get to the next area or anything like that. So yeah, I do like it here. Like it, it's definitely again it, it's desi more design designed around Amy's gameplay style compared to the other, compared to Twinkle, Twinkle Park, because like you had those open rooms with that kind of felt empty especially since Amy's really slow like if it was Sonic just di like spin dashing through that it would make more sense but since okay then what the hell okay but since uh, Amy is so slow those areas kind of felt a bit like empty because of this the lack of speed but yeah but yeah, basically, basically uh, with um, Zero, I think his name is. But um, yeah, basically, he he obviously tries to capture you, but like, I don't think he can ever make you lose a life or anything. Well, he basically, well, he okay, he shoots out this little hand grappling hook thingy at you, that which does make you take damage. But I don't. I don't think if you like let I don't think he ever like tries to capture you or anything like that. But you do have to be careful of like him actually killing you. <laughs> so But that's very hard for him to actually do. You have to really suck for that to happen really. And what you happen to me after I say that. But yeah. I mean I wouldn't mind Amy being playable again, but I think they should make her a little bit faster like I don't mind this gameplay style like being more puzzle heavy but I don't know maybe like a, around the speed of heroes like well not exactly like make it a little bit slower but uh yeah make it fa make, definitely make it faster than what Amy is here because while I don't mind it too much it definitely like isn't really the greatest But yeah. Got a lot of the music, the funky music here. But yeah, I, I do I do I do like that they gave the the last three characters at least one unique stage unique stage. Otherwise it wouldn't they wouldn't really have much going for them. Besides besides maybe gamma. But yeah, that's what another reason <laughs> I keep going on about. Well, I not too much, but I go on about this a little bit much. But yeah, that's another reason why I prefer SA2 over SA1. I prefer. Well, I just I like playing as all the characters, as opposed to this game where I only legitimately enjoy playing Sonic Tails and Knuckles. Like overall, like I I enjoy playing those like in general with this game, but. Amy, Big, and Gamma, they're fine, like, well, 
with the exception of Big. Big sucks. But Amy and Gamma, they're okay, but I honestly don't... They're, I'm not too fussed about them, really. But with the SA2, I enjoy uh, all, all the different characters, so yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference with that. Alright, and now we have another one of these puzzles. Which is right after the last one. Right, is that the wrong colour? Yep, yep. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it it probably would have been better if they like hid these better, but either way. This in here, and the other one should be here. Yeah. Yeah. The. I mean, I don't mind. I do like how they are. They are trying to go for a more, more of a puzzle focus with Amy. But again, it's not really hard. Like when you, when you just put 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 the uh, blocks in like areas that are like right right next to the. Uh, Thing you're supposed to put them into you're not really doing the puzzle right like that's like stupid easy like come on give us a little bit of a challenge oh, no I want to kill them all or kill me all right whatever grab it <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Gotta love that face. Uh, <laughs> I think we just have to go forward. Oh no, we actually have to go back. Yeah, because like most of the time, the cutscene takes like the cutscene that you're looking for is in the area you start start from. But this is the. I think it's the only exception. You actually actually have to go to this place. Go to the shrine again. And I think you see Dakar here. Because we haven't seen enough of her. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> this play <laughs> this cutscene just reminds me of that freaking stupid video I did where it's like clownfish or whatever. Oh man, that was brilliant. If anyone's curious about what I'm talking about, I'll probably just link it in the description. Oh my! Yeah, no, Amy can't see that. <laughs> I don't. Speaking of which, I don't. Besides perfect chaos, I don't think Amy Amy Gee, ever sees chaos. Yeah, no, she I doesn't. Ha. Huh. Okay then. Oh my! I need to get out of this place. <laughs> oh man. 